The image on this month's chronogram is a photograph by Ernest C. Withers. It's a photograph of, it's an untitled photograph, but it's subtitled, I Am a Man. And it's a photograph of a civil rights march uh, from the Memphis, Tennessee sanitation workers. And it was the 53rd day of the strike. And it was actually the last strike and protest that Martin Luther King Jr. participated in and gave his famous speech, I will see the mountaintop. And right after he gave that speech, he was assassinated. And that assassination was the catalyst for the strike being resolved. Ernest Withers was really the face of photography for the civil rights movement. One of the things that is really um, important about his work is that it created these iconic historical images, which not only were acted as an observer and reporter, but was really a catalyst for social change. One of the things that is really amazing about this collection of Black American art, which is a collection of Raymond McGuire, who's an alum of the Hotchkiss School, class of 75, is all of these pieces are really dealing with Black American artists looking at images of perseverance, power, challenges, identity, and intimate moments. And one of the things that really struck me about this collection was that sense of intimacy and transience. There's something so lovely about each one of these photographs. Not only are some of them very intimate and serene and lovely, like a voyeuristic moment in time, but others are large and iconic and text-driven, where each of those photographs in themselves has a level of tenderness and power. And together, there's a narrative that's really created that challenges the viewer to really look at this work and make, an, a, make a decision about what is identity, not only for the artist and for black Americans throughout history, but for them to come to a conclusion with a transience of time, for themselves to be standing in front of this work thinking, what is identity? What's my identity? What's my place in this historical reference? What's my idea of what this artist is saying? And also, what is the artist's identity collective? So there's something quite gorgeous about that, and that really struck me.